South Dakota woman has regained control over her body that's been weakened by a rare genetic disease. This Hartford single mother has been living with Huntington's chorea, a disorder that destroys brain cells. There is no known cure for Huntington's, and many patients die within 20 years of showing symptoms. But as Perry Groton reports, in tonight's Ion Kebelman, an experimental procedure has taken Nicole Anderson from illness to stillness. The simple act of sitting still has become a major accomplishment for Nicole Anderson. I think Joe because God I've never sat still before ever. No, I had a lot of restless legs and six years ago this former clinical dietitian began losing her coordination. Um, I know it was I would kind of fall a lot or trip and or run into things. Oh, and I'd run into them all and because you kind of lose your um Rationality, your judgment. A doctor in the Twin Cities diagnosed Anderson with Huntington's chorea. So horrible hearing that, yes. Um, it was so hard for me. I felt like my life was over. Desperate to stop the uncontrollable tremors and tics caused by Huntington's chorea, Anderson turned to Sanford neurosurgeon Wilson Asfora. Chorea derives from a Greek word that means dance. It's this abnormal jerky. Uh, coordinated movements. Last September, Aspera performed a deep brain stimulation on Anderson, a procedure common for treating the tremors of Parkinson's patients, but an experimental surgery for people with Huntington's. We choose the target we're going to stimulate, and we put this wire, an electrode, into the target, and we stimulate electrically, using an electric stimulator just like a pacemaker. Asphora implanted that pacemaker-like stimulator into Anderson's chest. It sends a current to electrodes in Anderson's brain that blocks her body shakes. The stimulator is also adjustable. What they'll see every two weeks, I might have more movement because of the disease progressing. If you can't do anything to correct, just, yeah, just the device to, you know, to help me with the movements. As for us, as he's pleasantly surprised by the results of the procedure. Even her speech, which I was not expecting, got a little better. Oh, yeah, I've been so excited because it really has changed my life. Absolutely. Anderson says the procedure has given her more energy to become a better mom to her three kids. It's so hard to um, watch your kids. You know, I worry about them the most. And that's why I really want to do it, because I want to be around my kids more as much as I possibly could. Anderson says her quality of life has greatly improved since that procedure, but she remains realistic that her long-term prognosis isn't good. It never is for Huntington's patients. I just, they didn't want that death sentence. Um, you know, made my life horrible. While Anderson says it's difficult to come to terms with her Huntington's, she's also discovered a newfound strength in her stillness. But after having this procedure, I feel like no, I, my, my, you know, my mind totally changed, you know. That's what my attitude. I feel like I've got some hope, you know. With I on Kelloland, I'm Perry Groton. If you would like to learn more about Huntington's, we have set up a link under the story at Kelloland.com. We'll be right back with today's sports highlights.